Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Pisces Sun, Moon and Rising Sign. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the huge support. Thank you for <laughs> um, everything. Please like to share these videos. Okay, um, this week is going to be the week of balance, the week of justice. It is the second week of July 2017 and we have the zodiac energy of hair and uh, the zodiac energy of water and the energy of justice. Justice is going to be served what is so wonderful this is the first beautiful reading I've seen whatsoever is happening this is going to be a lot of promotions for you guys the star energy I've crowned your week and your focus is going to be the page of cups the page of cups so a lot of people it's going to affect you your inner child a lot of people need to work on their inner child and uh, yeah this is what this page of cups is for a lot of people need to work on their inner child so whoever and whatever is going on you need to work on your inner child there's going to be a lot of promotion that is happening for you water sign people because the zodiac energy is water and you're vibrating in the uh, energy vibration of your sister sign which is the crave that is having their zodiac energy vibration birthday in this time so it's going to be good because you have the ten of cups you have um, two major three major oracle card and you have the chariot the star and the moon this is wonderful the chariot the star and the moon it's a wonderful wonderful energy because whatever here is happening whatever is happening here the devil is just looking on and it cannot have it doesn't have an effect on you for the people in business it's going to be a wonderful week but love is going to be good because you're going to um, have a victorious win in love okay as we look at the energies we have the chariot on Monday the chariot is the energy vibration of movement movement for some people victory and success for some people and for some people you're looking to transform yourself in different ways so this is going to be wonderful this is going to be a good connection so a lot of people will be victorious with relationships a lot of people will be victorious will find in the right person in relationship and the right business partner for the rest that is going to be looking for some place to move on to and you're going to be connected with people who are going to help you so this is a wonderful energy as we look at Tuesday, we have the Ten of Cups, and the Ten of Cups is wonderful. Listen to your intuition about family, and that is a very important uh, um, information that is coming through. Information about your family is going to be one of the most profound thing. A family, a very strong family connection with someone in the spirit world. Okay, and it's as if this person is connecting with you and helping you from out the spirit world. As I've said, the intergalactic and beings and angels and guides are coming in. On Wednesday, this is a beautiful card. You have the star, and the star it was printed in the star. It's as if it was printed in the star. So look out on Wednesday. Good things are going to happen. It's going to be positive. It's one of your most positive day. Um, one and seven number 17 is going to be your energy vibration because the seven energy and one energy is so performed so uh, the star energy is going to be your energy for the week because the focus that you're going to have is the page of cups page of cups is always working with your inner child so you're learning to love yourself you're connecting with your inner child whatsoever that was happening a conflicts and the conflicts has been and ended whatever conflicts there were the conflicts is now ended and the swords are being fall out out of your back so whatever conflicts there were it is ending and it is going to be ending on thursday as i look at your week wednesday is one of the most powerful week tuesday and wednesday and sunday is going to be extremely powerful as we look at Friday, we have the number seven energy coming up, the seven of uh, pentacles. It's in reverse um, because um, what is happening is that wonderful, positive things will be coming in. Um, this week is all about love and this week is uh, uh, love and uh, achievement love and achievement and your dreams and wishes are coming true love and achievement your dreams and wishes are coming true okay as we go forward and we look at Saturday we have the two 
of um, sword and this two of sword energy is that you're not seeing a situation clearly um, with the energy of the the, the, the um, um, with the energy of a Capricorn a, a Virgo or a Taurus you're not seeing a situation clearly because maybe you're thinking that everything is perfect everything is fine but there are all these unseen things that you're not seeing and your spirit guides are going to help you to see that okay as we move on we're looking at Sunday Sunday we have the energy of the moon so between Saturday night and Sunday you're going to get information and this information is going to bring you um, solutions to whatever problem this is a good moon uh, sign that is here you have the moon and the star this is positive and um, as an Pisces you need to listen to your intuition as a Pisces you need to listen to your intuition because information are coming in your sleep time and you're not listening to them okay someone from out the spirit world which I am feeling is a grandmother is really watching over you and releasing information and messages to you as we look at love is going to be performed um, a lot of you people are going to connect with people um, you are going to connect with um, the earth sign people I'm seeing the energy of you guys connecting it's going it's going to be powerful um, if you connect with an earth sign person the relationship is going to be one of a standing promising relationship that is going to help you you're carrying the energy of the star and it's like two times whatever is going on you are going to be so successful in whatever is going on it is going to be unbelievable as we look forward we have the energy vibration of uh, um, the conflict is now over whatever conflict there was uh, and your intuition is going to open up and you're going to realize that the conflicts has now come to an end and then we have here the seven of Pentacles in reverse and the energy of the Knight of Cups uh, that is here and this is going to be a positive endeavor that is coming into you because uh, good things are about to go on. a lot of people a lot lot of people in this week is going to have promising very promising promotions um, new things jobs um, whatever you're looking for in work and that sort of a thing it's going to be there but it's going to be a lot of connection with new relationships and these relationships are going to be good whatever is happening you need to work on your inner child because the page of cups comes up which is your inner child your inner child is crying out some of you your inner child are crying out and you need to heal the cry of this inner child as we go forward we're working with the unicorns and it says call in the pure light so this is Archangel Gabriel coming in and she is saying evoke the pure light light so uh, my um, motor to this is always I now invoke Archangel Gabriel supervisor of Torn element master fire and fire salamanders to bring in the pure um, pure white light so whenever you're sitting in situation even in your house it's good to seal your house off each windows and door with a pure white light so that no negativity can comes in and Archangel Gabriel is your um, angel for this week who is going to guide and protect you Archangel Gabriel also work with the unseen world to help you to get out all these messages because you have the energy of the star and whenever the energy of the star you're powered your week is just powered and focused with the energy of the star and this is wonderful for a lot of people there are going to be a lot of promotions whatever situation whatever conflicts that there were it's going to be I actually now coming to an end and use wisdom whatever you do wisdom is going to be very um, act with wisdom and people will respect you act with wisdom and people will respect you so this is going to be extremely good so you need to understand that whenever you act with wisdom people will respect you and they will um, um, help you and you can help them the next message from the ascendance card we have here oh my god it's coming up so many times so I guess there is really a message that you need to um, ask the angels to bring uh, ask hair to bring angels singing around the house the, the world and bringing peace and love the next 
the 12 chakras I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras so this is good I'm glad that this comes up because I'm always telling people to awaken their um, 12 dimension chakras okay there's more chakras but we're working on the most powerful 12 and it says I awaken my 12 fifth dimension chakras it is so and it will be I'm asking the angels to sing over me it says follow um, follow <laughs> Following the fall of Atlantis, five of our 12 chakra has been closed. Atlantis starts when we once more activate our 12 fifth dimension chakras. This begins to reconnect the 12 strands of DNA so that we can reclaim our true spiritual and psychic gifts. Your guidance is to ask the unicorn to touch, open, and activate your earth star chakra, your base chakra, your sacred chakra, your navel chakra, your solar plexus chakra, your heart chakra, your throat chakra, your um, third eye chakra, your cosmo chakra, your crown chakra, your soul star chakra, and your stellar gateway chakra. Then ask the angels to sing over you so that your chakras will vibrate at a higher frequency and this is the card let me see how long i can keep it up here so that when you come back to look at the videos at another time you will all see all the chakras that you need to touch open and activate and i'm understanding why the energy of the 12 chakra came up for you pisces people because you are working with neptune you work with the angelical beams of neptune and also um the acceleration of your chakra system so i can understand why this is happening so awaken your 12 fifth dimension chakras and understand what is happening for you and this is going to help you to change your energy vibration so that you can um, vibrate at the higher power and it is good every morning when you wake up you ask um, the angels to touch open and activate all your 12 chakras and ask them to sing over you and you will feel uh, and so a huge clean energy coming in up for you and this is going to be wonderful Please like and share these videos. Please come back and listen um, to see the clearing of the chakras and the healing of the chakras here because these are all healing. I use these cards as the essential card to heal. So remember, I open my 12 fifth dimension chakras. I open my 12 fifth dimension chakras. I'm holding up close so that a lot of people can stop the video and read and uh, learn to open up your chakras, okay? Um, I want to say thank you for being here. Please like, share these videos, and I'm saying namaste till next week.